bash the... No, Path of Laura. It means okay. laurel berries. Okay. And signifies the successful completion of one's studies. It alludes to the bay leaf wreaths worn by poets and scholars when they received academic honors in ancient Greece. You lost me there. Where? You know, you lost Laura? me at the bog baccalaureate. Baccalaureate? Baccalaureate? <laughs> All right. What that has to do with our next guest? What do you think? He's not Greek. Uh, Is he Greek? No. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know what? We'll find we'll out. We'll find out. All right. We are joined by our friend, the spicy chef himself, because Christian always says... Spicy, spicy is, is nicey. nicey. That's right. <laughs> we have the spicy chef, personal chef, Al McRae. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. The nice pleasure is all ours because it already has a special aroma in it the, in the uh, studio. We're into that aroma. Mm. It's not me cologne. It's not your cologne. No, no it isn't. <laughs> uh, instead, it's it's looking like very healthy food. I know you specialize in organic and gluten-free. Exactly, yeah. Right? yeah. Is that your thing? That's your I believe that organic and gluten-free is uh, much better for your body. You know, Everything that you put in your body is uh, is a direct result of uh, how you feel on a daily basis. Sure. And uh, you all want to feel good every single day. So I, I, I enjoy having uh, anything that's organic out of my garden, anything mm -hmm. from, the, from the store that's organic or uh, or gluten free as well. Sure, you want to stay away from the pesticides, from the chemicals, from especially when it comes to meats. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get all political here. I know I remember Oprah. Song. <laughs> Somebody got a big. Uh, <laughs> so we're not going to go there, right. but you know, let's not you know pump ourselves with right. hormones. Let's not pump ourselves with steroids. And gluten is the reason that you feel heavy after a pasta. Yeah. It's, it's the reason that you feel bigger. Right, and you have to sit down, you have to take a nap after you have yeah, something yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, a big sure. dish, right? So. Sure, so instead we're focusing on rice noodles. Rice, 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 rice is completely gluten free. Vermicelli? A vermicelli. Okay. okay, so what are we making today? Well, we're gonna do a Vietnamese spring rolls, mm. which is also known as Nuak Nam. In, uh, that's my, that's my piece of Nuak Mom. Nuak Mom. Nuak Mom. New which Jersey is, Mom. New Jersey Mom. Okay. Yeah, we'll call these New Jersey Mom Rolls. Mom. And, uh, first thing we have to do here is, uh, we have to start soaking our, uh, our rice paper. Now, this is gluten free rice paper. You just put it into water, mm -hmm. right? So I'm gonna sit that in water. Over here, we have some rice noodles. Right, and it's it's kind of sitting in some hot water because it's gonna soften up really really well. And to that, I'm gonna add half a lime. Okay. Right? So I'm just gonna add half a lime, add some flavor water. right to the water, right. just to add some flavor to that. And it takes to the actual noodle. And it does take to the actual noodle. I did not know so, that. So what I'm gonna get you guys to do, mm -hmm. if you can possibly, I need to uh, take this kale apart, and I also need to make strips out of this carrot. Okay. okay. Julienne. So in order to not quite Julienne, but it, it is it is sort of <laughs> sort of lucky like that. Julienne. <laughs> um, she won't be joining us Julianne after child, all. That's it. The carrot basically you take a slide like this. Okay. And all we're doing is doing strips, and more or less it's for flavor, for de decorative reasons as well. When you put it into the uh, sure. roll. Okay, so I'll get you to work on that. I will. I know that your hands are, your hands are clean. Yes, yep. they are. Okay. I just and right over here we got to pull apart the kale. Sure. Okay. And to pull apart the kale, we grab the stem yep. and just snatch it apart like this. Right on. And when we do that, we're going to put in some hot water, okay. which I have over here. I'll pass this to you. Hot water. I so love how Al's making kale it Kale makes work. a lovely hair piece, too. <laughs> it is. It's cute. cute. Gorgeous kale, by the way. And basically, we're just going to blanch that. Step that size? Yeah, we're just going to pull them all apart and blanch that. Mm -hmm. I love this. Now, as a personal chef who caters to, you know, smaller parties, sometimes mm -hmm. you do, let's say, couples, mm -hmm. or you do, you know, girls' night in, bachelorette parties, that kind of thing, do you get, if, if, the, if the people, if your clients do want to get involved, do you let them get their hands dirty? Uh, well, most of the time, I just, I, I, I'm there for a reason to host the party rather uh, rather than uh, uh, demonstrate. I do do demonstration classes do do as, well, as well, so yeah. I have... I have a client who has three kids, she's single, mm -hmm. and she doesn't have a lot of time to cook. Yeah. So I'll go in there, help her, um, demonstrate her how to, how to cook certain dishes, and, uh, and do it quick and, and easy. Quick and easy and healthy. Healthy is the key for the, for her kids, yeah. right? And tasty. And I mean, tasty kids are well. fussy, right? That's true. It's very true. So I, I imagine that's even more of a of a challenge. Okay. Okay, you can good there. This that, that's pretty much enough there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Just keep doing well, it. What we, have, what we have here Whoops. is we have enough for about 50 servings. What's up, Wabbit? Let's feed the crew. Okay, there so we, we got go. that carrot here. That's okay. all ready to go. Super. You're doing very well. Over here. I try, I try hard, chef. That's probably just enough for kale okay. for, 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 for everything. And uh, just give that a stir and mix it in with the hot water. Okay, okay. right now I have um, the shrimp. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take this out of the water. Okay. It's damp mm -hmm. and, and sticky. Yeah. 
So, this is what we're going to do with it. We're going to get the next one in there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Spicy Chef, this is a good idea Thank to you. tell the viewers, too. Like, you're just putting in the hot water, so you're not getting rid of all the great nutrients. No, you're not. You're, yeah. just, you're just giving it a quick blanch, and what that'll yeah. do is it'll it'll activate sort of the nutrients in the, in the kale, as well as it'll give this beautiful, beautiful That's bright green color. And one thing I noticed you're doing, and I had to learn this the hard way, you are putting the rice papers in individually, one by one. One by one. Uh, remove one, and then put the other one in, because if you put a few in at once, you're going to ruin them. They're all going to stick all together. They're all going to stick together. And it's just that. Makes you just... So, so. What, I, what I'm going to do now is just slice these shrimp in half, and the reason I'm doing this is just to make it a little uh, more pleasing uh, for the color um, when you when you get the finished product, as well as it, it adds some... Uh, uh, some some depth as well to the to yeah. actual spring it, roll, right? Yeah, because then it could be too bulky. Yeah, you don't want it to be too yeah, bulky. Take away from the so bulk. quite simply, this yeah. is all the ingredients that you, that you need. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is it. Although I'm seeing some spicy fun stuff. This oh, is where it gets spicy. That. We're this gonna get to that. This is actually a traditional uh, traditional sauce, uh, fish sauce that Vietnamese people use, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the spring rolls, which is a very popular Vietnamese uh, uh, dish, and it's it's pretty much about half of their diet. They use eat spring rolls every day. I love that. So we have we have this uh, we have uh, some fish sauce Vietnamese fish sauce. Mm -hmm. We have some cane sugar. Okay. Much more healthier than regular sugar. Yeah. We have some uh, chili garlic and we have some regular garlic here. And what I'm going to do is just chop oh. up this garlic really quick. I'm going to be in trouble today. So if I can get one of you. If I can get some kisses upon. If I can get sorry. If I get one of you guys just to mix all these ingredients, put it in the bowl. Sure. Mix them all together right now. Yeah. Here. Just throw it all in the bowl. Is I'm chopping up the garlic mm -hmm. and then I'm going to give it a quick mince. And by giving it a quick mince, I'm just going to press the knife against it and kind of break up the ingredients. This is basically mincing right here. Mm -hmm. So, you wouldn't use, would you use a press though typically? Or um, yeah, I, I think I think kitchen tools are fun, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it it, it, you know, it's more to clean. Yeah, and especially if you're going into people's homes, I mean, you show up with the ingredients, with the groceries, typically bought the day of, Exactly, right? yeah. Then, uh, I mean, you don't want to show up with all these extra clutter pieces. Exactly. Right? You might as well just do it yourself. Okay, it's much easier if you have a nice, clean surface to work with at all times sure. as well. Sure. Now, here I am. I'm just kind of putting everything together here. I'm just giving it a little stir. We're going to a break, actually, very, very shortly. So, meantime, I know you have a Facebook page. I've been creeping you. I've been creeping you. I Googled him. Awesome. I like he that. has a Facebook page where actually it is indicated what you're all about, mm -hmm. what you're capable of, and what, you know, what's the story here behind the spicy chef. But when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about a little bit more about okay. that when we come back. Welcome back to daytime. Well, we are in the midst of some serious vermicelli and Vietnamese spring roll We're action. Vermicelli. We are joined by the spicy chef himself. He's a personal chef, Al McRae, with us here. Hey! And here he is. Okay, awesome. so, so what? yeah, bringing us up to speed, we have put together the main elements of the, mm -hmm. the Vietnamese spring roll. Okay, right? and, with, and the Vietnamese uh, fish sauce as well. Right, and the sauce. Which is the cane, uh, cane sugar, some uh, fish sauce. Um, a little dab of uh, water. Little dab, uh, little, dab, little dab of water. Okay. And the portions for this is quarter cup, quarter cup, quarter cup. So very easy, right? And then we put uh, some chili garlic sauce. I have some minced up chili, uh, minced up garlic. Just a little bit. In there. Just a little bit. Oh, you're killing me. And then we're going to add some lime. to cash at the end of the show. We add some lime in there. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to give that a quick stir. Yeah. And then there's our sauce, ready to go. Right. That's it, that's it, just ready to go. The longer we let it sit, the more the garlic is gonna infuse with uh, the lime and everything else. Okay, wonderful. We have our vermicelli rice noodles, mm -hmm. very typical in Vietnamese uh, spring rolls, and we're draining that out. Yeah. And basically, those are all our ingredients, all ready to go, so let's put something together. Let's do it. Okay. Let's roll them up. Cool thing, is this something you could actually put together for you know, a few days worth or something in the fridge, right? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, you could, it's very easy to do this um, on, on the fly, right? But, um, I mean, you can do this and, and store this. It's, it's very quick, sure. very healthy. It's more or less a, sure. a salad and a roll. Yeah. I think it's fun because the kids it. would love to do this, and then you're getting them into eating something that's actually very good. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You know? I've done it, and it does last in the fridge for a few days, actually. Good point, Christian. Okay, so now what we want to do is add some kale. Some brights. Well, some brights. There you go. Okay, I'll just take over since here. Since you're just blanching, the chlorophyll is all still in there, so that beautiful color is chlorophyll. Vibrant chlorophyll. It is so vibrant, isn't it? And then we have some shrimp. Shrimpy shrimp. Okay. Yellow. 
And you want you want to put that face up because what what will happen is you can see through this whole spring roll, right? Yeah, so it looks prettier. Okay. Very decorative, very pretty. Yeah. Okay. okay. Put some down on the sides. Carrots. 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 And the same with the carrots. Carotenoids, as my mom calls them. Carrots and why is that? Carotenoids. Very decorative as well. Mamaism. Mm -hmm. It's a mamaism. And then what I have on the end is some fresh basil. Okay. And that'll, be, that'll give that extra level, extra level of flavor, and that's that's what cooking's all about. Having, I love having great it's levels. Just your straight green basil. I sometimes like green to add flavor. some lemongrass as Le well. Lemongrass will work, and basically you can put anything mm. you want, any vegetables that you mint, like. Maybe you can put too. In this. Mint, mm. mint is a perfect ingredient. It's mint, cilantro, perfect ingredients. So is this it? Are so you ready to fold? Are we rolling it up? Okay, so I want I want you to fold this about a quarter of the way up Hawks. on both sides. This is the tricky well, part. It does take it does take a few really. tries to get this right. This is why you're the professional. This is why he's the spicy chef. Yes. <laughs> and you're just the daytime chef. <laughs> and then we're gonna grab that. We're gonna fold that right over and sort of tuck it back tuck a little. It in. Tuck yes, it yes, back. Yes, pull yes, it back. Yes, pull yes, it back. Yes, pull it back. Pull it back. Okay. Okay. And then we're just gonna roll that. Get your fingers Go in there. It. Roll nice and tight. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Oh, yeah. I think you're doing great. <laughs> Nicely. Okay. Now and let's look at spicy chefs and let's there look at unspicy chefs. That's pretty, it's pretty good. Oh, oh, so oh, good. It's so clear. And yeah, nothing that we do can't be repaired. That's right. <laughs> little duct tape. Spicy. A little duct tape. <laughs> spicy is nicey. Spicy is nice. Is, is nice. Yes, and then we have, so we have our two spicy <laughs> spring rolls. This is, this is a great uh, amount for anybody to eat, right? Yeah. So it's a good size. My cash and I, like I know, we would need way more than that. We're kind of pigs around here, yeah. So what I'm going to do is just give this a nice cut on a little bias here. Yeah. So you can see everything, all the ingredients that are in there. So oh, delicious. mine's falling apart as well. That's all right. That's so we have that like that. Look at that. And we'll take your... We'll take your piece we'll here. Take your log. He's we'll take your log. We'll take your log. We'll take your log. <laughs> we'll take your log and we'll throw that one up as well. Yeah, we can call it the Bedurka Healthy Log. Yeah. That's really appetizing. Here we go. <laughs> healthy. Come on, everybody. Give it up. Give it up. Aww. Good job. I love this. What a great appetizer. And it's so filling, actually. I've had spring rolls like this, fresh spring rolls, as my dessert. As, I mean, not my dessert, dessert. sorry. What a as great my dessert. entree, as my meal, as yeah. my meal. So, um, what do you think, Christian? Is it time to I think it's time to try to make sure that the Bidurka... What do you think? Why don't you join us? Oh. Join us, here we go. Get oh, a little he's bit. going in for one of Al's. That, he knows. Not <laughs> <laughs> Did I go for that wasn't, That's not mine. That's falling See, that's the Bidurka one. <laughs> I, need, okay. I know much stuff you've been thinking about. Actually, what are you doing? Give me a bite. Get right in there. What are you doing? Oh, there's a lot of juicy juice coming Oh, dear. Well, I know. I feel like condiments. I like Looks them. Like, okay. It's the perfect day to talk about Thomas Crapper. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Does it work for you? Mm. Does it work for you? Yeah. Perfect. Guess what? Spicy. It is nice. Mmm. <laughs> Got it. Beautiful. I'm blown away. I love this. It is I good. Love Just it. Right good, heat. quick, easy. And guilt free. And guilt free. No food guilt, people. I know. Right. Mmm. Wow. I love it. All right. You know what? Next up. I love this topic, oh, I too. Know. We're moving right along. We are talking to author Alan Schwartz. He's joining us on the Daytime Roundtable about his tales of the dating trenches. The Ooh. dating trenches. We'll be hearing about them. And remember to go online and vote on our web poll. We want to know 